and welcome to Rock Your Block, where we are highlighting individuals who are making an impact in our community. I'm your host, Larry Laws, and on today's segment of First Home Alliance, I am joined by Mr. George Light, who is a co-founder, vice president of production, and top producing loan officer of Home Savings and Trust Mortgage, and Mr. Marshall Williams, a highly skilled executive, principal advisor, and serves as executive director of military affairs for Home Savings and Trust Mortgage. Will, George, welcome to the show. Larry, thank you yeah. for having us. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for having us today. All right, All right George, uh, and Will, uh, as getting started, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about uh, well, who you are, your professional background, and maybe a little bit about the veteran community, what you did. Sure, Larry, thanks a lot for having us again. Uh, Home Savings and Trust Mortgage is a privately owned mortgage bank in Fairfax, Virginia. Mm -hmm. We've been in business for 14 years. Um, I personally have 25 years experience in the mortgage business and we are a little bit non-traditional in terms of we have in-house processing, underwriting and closing all in our office. So all the key decisions and all the approval process is done directly in our office. Okay. And Larry, I'm the Executive Director of Military Affairs for Home Saves and Trust Mortgage. That allows me to be uh, responsible for the entire process that involves our veterans. Mm -hmm. So any VA loan that comes in, uh, I make sure from the beginning to the end that I have my hands on it, that the veteran is getting uh, the top care, the care that they deserve. All right. um, yes, you know, well, uh, you know, there's a lot of mortgage companies out there, and uh, actually, uh, it's a pleasure having you guys in, uh, you know, because one thing that you do target veterans. Uh, how did you, uh, are, do you have veteran, are you a veteran? No, I'm not, but I have a little bit of history there. My father graduated from Yale University and then joined the Marines and did 11 years in the Marines, ending in a major before okay. going on to law school. Mm -hmm. So i uh, got great passion for it through my dad's service and his brother was also a tail gunner in World War II. Okay, sounds good. Now Will, I know, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't have to ask you, you're a veteran. Oh. I know we served some time there at the Pentagon. Absolutely. Uh, tell a little bit about your um, uh, family, military family. And sure, the, so uh, as, you, as you mentioned, we uh, met in the, uh, in the Pentagon. I was yes. a senior enlisted advisor to uh, the 19th Secretary of Defense, the Honorable William J. Perry. And then again to the 20th Secretary of Defense, the Honorable William Sebastian Cohen. Mm -hmm. That's where I met you. Correct. Uh, my wife is a retired Sergeant First Class United States Army. My son is uh, recently uh, graduated from uh, West Point a year ago. I guess that's recent enough. Yes. Uh, and now is stationed at uh, Fort Brigade Combat Team Airborne 25th ID. Cool in Alaska. Yes. Uh, how did you guys, uh, uh, how did y'all build that relationship and end up working together? We actually met through a group called Five on Five Basketball, mm -hmm. a trainer named Reginald Kitchen out in Leesburg, Virginia. Uh, Will's son, Mo, um, was a few years ahead of my son, and we met through basketball and struck up a really great personal friendship. Right. And we would meet on a weekly, uh, monthly basis at the Ritz-Carlton in Pentagon City and developed a friendship over probably 10 years. and. It, a certain point, we decided we could work together and try to help veterans and move forward in the mortgage industry. Yes, well, I, I think you got you definitely picked a good veteran. <laughs> we uh, definitely uh, uh, very good uh, track record and um, doing things for for soldiers. Yes, and so uh, the Home Savings and Trust Mortgage. I know you work with veterans, but you do some other things in the community. Can you talk to us about some of the other things you do? Sure. Uh, we, we are a big sponsor of a group called Women Giving Back, mm -hmm. located in Sterling, Virginia. And their purpose and cause is to clothe and outfit homeless women. Um, they basically get, the women get vouchers from social services programs throughout Fairfax County. And one day a month, they open up and have like a Nordstrom's boutique where the okay. person's giving a uh, personal shopper okay. and gets to pick 60 items for themselves. And if they have children as well, they get outfitted so they can go back to work and interview and have great clothes you know, when they go out. Yes. And the women do a fantastic job. We're not allowed out of the back to, other than sorting clothes and <laughs> yes. donating money. Yes. And, uh, but we greatly respect what they do and we're proud sponsors of uh, Women Giving Back. Well, that's, that's great. I'm gra uh, glad that you're doing a lot of things in the community. But you know, you have a very unique company there. You mentioned that you have your underwriters there in the same, uh, on, uh, at their own, own location uh, with your loan officers. Uh, how's that set up working for you? It's working great. Uh, our two underwriters, uh, one has 28 years of experience mm -hmm. and she's probably 48 years old and the other one's around 52 and has been with us for over 22 years. So uh, we've got a super experienced staff 
ready to make decisions basically within 24 hours of alone walking in the door at, at, at our office. Oh, that's great. Yes. And uh, so uh, in reference to the, uh, uh, what do you do in reference to in the office for veterans? What are you doing there? Well, what we did was we brought in Will, um, and I'm going to let Will speak to, uh, you, you know, our veterans outreach that we're doing right now. Well, okay. With respect to outreach, uh, obviously you and I are part of an organization called the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals, where right. we go out and attempt to bring awareness and information to, uh, obviously, the, our military, but also realtors and everybody that's in the housing industry uh, about the VA loan, how important it is, and the nuances that, you know, what we find is 62% of individuals say that they know nothing about the VA loan. These are qualified veterans, have no idea about the VA loan itself, how it yes. works, even if they even uh, have the ability to obtain one. And so yeah. what we do is through outreach, we go out and uh, speak before different groups, military groups, uh, realtor groups, uh, to provide this information for, so that these individuals uh, have a better understanding about how to obtain that something that they worked for for years. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things that got, us, got me started in this direction was my father. Okay. My father passed away probably three years ago after a 10-year battle with Parkinson's. Okay. I went to the funeral home and went in. He was my best friend, so I went in and I asked for the cheapest box and the, and the cheapest bag for his ashes, mm -hmm. and we were going to go do a family event in Nags Head at a house that we rented every summer. Yes. And on the way leaving there, I was probably out of there in 15 minutes, mm -hmm. a very nice lady came and grabbed my arm as I was going down the steps and said, wait a minute, does your father have military service? Yeah. And I said, yes, ma'am. He has 11 years, left the military as a major. And she said, do you realize that he's entitled to full burial rights in the crematorium at Arlington Cemetery? Wow. My father never knew that. Our family never knew that, and when we had that day, which we, of course we stopped and took that honor that, we, that he had earned, yes. and when we did that, it was such a special day for our family that I was like, how many other veterans don't know about this death benefit, and, yeah. and also here on earth, my father had four homes and never one time had a VA mortgage, which would have been to his benefit each and every time yes. had he used his VA loan, which is where we brought Will in to help us understand the system the rules and regulations and privileges and also the lifestyle of our military so we can better honor and serve their families. That's great. And you definitely got someone that can speak the language. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes. All right. And uh, Will, uh, uh, what are you, some of the things that you're doing in the office to uh, reach out to some of the other realtors and lenders to bring them into your office? Uh, to let well, them you know, know twice a month uh, we have a uh, lunch and learn where we bring realtors in specifically to teach them not just this portion, not just the VA loan, but other things that would help them help our military. Okay. Uh, twice a month we do this right here. And it, it ranges in you know, attendance, Correct. right? Uh, but we realize this right here. If we want to reach our military, we have to do it through the realtors because they reach, you know, they got a, a far, a, I can't say the word. A bigger following. A bigger <laughs> following than we do, thank <laughs> yes. you. They have a bigger following than we do. Yes. Uh, with regard to that. Yeah. Now you have some uh, particular clients that you're trying to serve that are not ready yet. And so yes. what do you have uh, uh, in place to uh, help get them ready? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, first things first, is that we can help them at some level ourselves, yes. right? We can help them with basic uh, credit, um, let's call it ideas, what they can do to improve their credit. Correct. Anything really beyond that, uh, there is a person named Larry Laws that we <laughs> literally <laughs> send all of our folks to. Um, and it's, it's worked out well for us, right? Whether it's um, education on financial matters, whether it's short sales or things like that, uh, you've been fantastic for, for our veterans particularly, yes. but for everybody, because we send you certainly more than just, just veterans. Yes. Well, uh, first of all, uh, Alliance, um, you know, it's a privilege for us to uh, partner with you in our uh, effort in serving our community. Thank you. Uh, we're about to take a break, but before we go, I would like to remind you that First Home Alliance is a HUD-approved housing counseling agency serving the national capital area. If you are a first-time home buyer or a homeowner in need of mortgage assistance, I encourage you to check the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development website for a HUD-approved housing counseling agency in your area. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned. We cannot approve the loan until your wife goes back to work. I'm sorry. 
Counseling discrimination isn't always obvious or straightforward, but it is against the law. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, protects your rights to equal opportunity in housing. If you've experienced housing discrimination, HUD can help. They can pursue compensation for your injuries and protect your equal opportunity to housing free of discrimination. Welcome back. You're watching Rock Your Block with me, Larry Laws of First Home Alliance. And if you're just now tuning in, we are joined today with our special guests, George and Will of Home Savings and Trust Mortgage. George and Will, we was uh, before the break, we was talking about uh, VRAP right. and uh, how you're reaching out to the community and, um, you know, both educating and also edu uh, the uh, industry, but also educating uh, the uh, veterans themselves. Absolutely. So with regard to uh, VRAP, uh, we also host lunch and learns uh, across the industry in different locations uh, through Merlin, D.C. and Virginia uh, for realtors. Um, okay for the same purpose as we do at Home Saves and Trust Mortgage. Uh, and the very first thing that we tell both of those groups is, for realtors that is, is ask the individual, have they served? It sounds simple, but in, in, in actuality, it's the number one thing uh, that allows us to ensure that 100% of veterans who are uh, authorized a VA loan actually obtain a VA loan. Mm -hmm. uh, I say that because I give you an example, a personal example. My first four homes, I never used my VA loan. I never used it because no one ever told me that, uh, that I could use it. Correct. Yeah, I, I never thought about it, didn't know anything about it. Uh, so that's, that's the first thing that we try to impress upon realtors. Ask the question, have you served? Okay. And George, do you see that, um, have you talked to veterans that came in maybe that have, was not given that option? So why do you think that they're not uh, given that, op that option for the VA loan? I think there's a lot of uh, misinformation in, mm -hmm. in the marketplace. Um, a lot of people, just starting with the word veteran, um, a lot of people think that veteran means you've left the service and you're retired. Um, and that's just not the case. Once you have 180 days of service in most cases, you're eligible for a VA loan. And just so people understand, a VA loan entitles a veteran to purchase a house with no money down. So you can go up to, in this area, $625,500 okay. with no money down. And, wow. and there's no monthly mortgage insurance fee for doing That's so. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually uh, this is a one myth I want to share with you. It says veteran can only use the, uh, the, uh, that loan one time. Is that true? That's incorrect. Uh, veterans can use that loan multiple times. You can use it to purchase a home. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use it to a cash out refinance. VA loans will let you go up to 100% of the value of your house and take cash out if you want to use it for college education. Any reason you want to, you can take the cash out of your home 100% on a VA, uh, VA loan. Okay. There also is something called an interest rate reduction refinance, mm -hmm. which doesn't require the veteran to even have a current occupation. Um, doesn't require, all it requires is that your mortgage has been paid on time. Correct. And you have a, a v, existing VA loan. And as long as you're lowering your interest rate and it's a benefit to the veteran, it's an automatically approved okay. mortgage. All right, so are you telling me that I could have purchased a home and at a later date, I can purchase another home using the VA loan? That's also possible as well. Each veteran is given a certain portion of eligibility. So let's okay. assume for this area, it's $625,500 okay. with no money down. And say you were stationed originally in Missouri and you bought a $200,000 house. Okay. You can transfer to this area, keep your VA loan in Missouri, and buy a house here in the $400,000 price range no money down, thereby having two homes at yeah. the same time. It sounds like you're sort of familiar with the difference in home prices in these different markets. We are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Our military has taught us well. <laughs> well. Yeah. I can see that they are well traveled. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, I, Will, I guess you have used a VA loan now? I have, actually. Okay. I have used a VA loan now. Uh, and I encourage everyone um, <laughs> who's eligible to use it to also use it. Okay. All right. Now, uh, the other myth that I've heard is that that VA loan can only be used to buy a house. That, yeah, that, that's fairly correct, except for the refinances that we just discussed, the cash out refinance and also the rate term refinance. Um, you also, if you sell a home that has 
a VA loan, you can allow somebody to assume your mortgage. Okay. And where this comes in really handy to the veteran is if interest rates were to go to eight, nine, ten percent, and prices have come down a little bit because of interest rates are so high, yes. the veteran can have somebody come in and fill out an application. The loan servicer will approve that application okay. and allow the veteran to let the new purchaser assume his loan, which today is probably two and seven eighths as an interest rate for a 30 year fixed. Mm -hmm. So it's quite an attractive selling feature yes. for the veteran to use. Okay. Now the veteran's eligibility will be tied up until that loan gets paid off, okay. at which point it resets and the veteran can use the VA loan as many times as he pays it off or has additional eligibility. Okay. Now, is it also true that uh, when, you, when you're uh, using a VA loan, uh, can you uh, um, liquidate or pay off some other debt as well? So when you're purchasing a VA loan, there's something very unique to this. The seller is allowed to, when you're purchasing a home, the seller is allowed to pay for all of the veteran's closing costs and an additional 4%, which can be used towards credit card debt, medical bills, car payments, whatever is necessary. Mm -hmm. Now the trick is to get the seller to be willing to do so. Yes. A lot of veterans are under the impression that 100% down means no money out of their pocket. There's still closing costs and there's still escrows to set up, but a seller, if they're willing, can make it so a veteran can get in with no money down and actually pay off some bills to help them get qualified. Okay. George, would you just mention quickly earnest money because we've seen this quite often in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, thanks Will. We've had recently several veterans call up and say when I write a contract the real estate agent is asking for an earnest money check. Yes. And I thought there was no money down for down payment. And this is a, a something that needs we'd like to clear up with the veteran okay. community. You will be normally required to write an earnest money check. Okay. If the seller is paying for all of your closing costs and you have no down payment required, you will get that earnest money deposit back at closing. Okay. You'll get a check back from the settlement table. Where you lose your earnest money deposit is if the home inspection contingency has been removed, the okay. appraisal contingency has been removed, and the loan's been completely approved, and you just change your mind and you don't show up for closing, okay. at which point your earnest money is at risk. Okay. But our veterans are not having to put down a down payment, so when they're asked for earnest money, it's just a good faith deposit to keep on hand and can be applied to closing costs and prepaids should the veteran choose to pay those himself. Okay, so uh, having cold feet can cost you, right? It can, <laughs> but, it can but you've got plenty of time in the yes. process to change your mind. Oh. You know, the appraisal contingency, the home inspection contingency, and Correct. the HOA documents or condo documents provide you anywhere between five to 20 days to back out for those reasons. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we want our veterans to be happy with their home choice and be very comfortable in the decisions that they make. Okay, all right. And uh, well, you know, uh, the other myth is that um, that uh, some think that you can only use that uh, VA loan for the first time. They only for first time home buyers. Oh wow, yeah. So George has told you that in this area, six twenty five five hundred is the amount, the maximum amount you, you can use your VA loan with no money down. Mm -hmm. But VA loans you can get for $1.5 million. That's right, $1.5 million. Here's the catch. VA says no money down for six twenty-five five hundred. dollars okay. right? What it does is guarantees the, the lender 25% of the total loan amount. Okay. So anything over six twenty-five five hundred, dollars you must, as the borrower, put down 25% of that. So if you had $1.5 million, Okay. You subtract the 625, 500, 25% of that, that's what you would have to bring as a down payment. Okay. But that percentage is, I don't know, 14, 15%. It's, it's amazing. It, you can't get that with any other loan. Correct. Yeah, can you yeah. imagine getting a $1.5 million loan with a 3% 30-year fixed interest rate that's assumable? No. <laughs> the, VA, the VA loans. 20% down. The there. VA loan's <laughs> a, a beautiful loan. And yes. we need to keep in mind the VA loan benefit is not a handout. Correct. Okay. Uh, it was originally started because the government didn't want to give the military $50,000 per person when they left the military and retired. So they said instead of giving cash out, how can we give them something of, of value to take away? And the, v, the VA loan guarantees a lender 25% of a mortgage, so there's no down payment requirement. So that, that's where the VA comes through to do a good job for 
our uh, our veterans, and it will allow them to go all the way up to the million five. Yes, the sales price. Yes, well, you know, there is a lot of more myths and things that we need to learn about that VA loan and how our veterans can take advantage of that. And uh, Will and George, I really appreciate you all coming on the show. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to have to invite you back again. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank right. you very much. Okay. And thank you again. I hope you found the great information these two gentlemen just shared beneficial and that you will share it with your veterans and others in the community. If you have questions or need additional information, George and Will, please reach out to them directly. Their contact information is on your screen. Now it's time for our check to check our inbox and see how we can help rock your block. This is where we share recent questions sent to us from you, our viewer and audience, in reference to financial stability and housing. Today's question comes from Fort Washington, Maryland. Should I just file for bankruptcy so the creditors will just leave me alone? We recently held a Veteran Housing Summit in Fort Washington, Maryland, and have had a significant increase in veteran inquiries. Do not file a bankruptcy as your first option. Consider these three things and in disorder, credit counseling, debt management, and then bankruptcy counseling. I would like to take this opportunity to raise awareness of the U.S. veteran suicide rate through education and empowerment. According to the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, on average 22 veterans commit suicide in the United States every day. If you are a veteran or know a veteran, reach out to them and ask if everything is okay. Ask if there's anything you can do to assist. Remember that not all injuries are visible. Thank them for their service. Let them know their lives matter. And thanks for the service to our country. If there is a need for immediate assistance, call the Veteran Crisis Line at 800-273-8255 or visit their website. Again, I'm Larry Laws of First Home Alliance and it's my pleasure to share with you these amazing services that are provided to the community to empower you with knowledge to enhance your financial fitness and to answer questions you may have about housing in order to make your dream of homeownership a success. If you have questions concerning financial education or homeownership, email our inbox at help at firsthomealliance.org to get your questions answered. And tune in to our next show to see if your question was selected to be shared with our audience. You can easily get more information about our services by visiting our website. Thank you for watching today's segment of First Home Alliance, and join us next time to rock your block. Flex Boot Camp is a pilot program. We are seeking applicants that are serious about getting into financial shape and willing to take on the Financial Literacy Education Experience Challenge. We ask candidates for a 12-month commitment of financial management conditioning. We offer 10 financial education modules augmented by monthly confidential one-on-one -on -one financial coaching sessions. We are committed to help you reach your financial goal. Your success is our success. If you are interested, please visit our website for more information.